Hello everybody, my name is Jad, welcome to another MLB 9 Innings 23 video. In today's video, we finally have the start of the 2023 season, and we got a pre-registration rewards, we've got some past combo skill changes, you guys know the deal, we're all here. Um, so, the new updates are here, the Supremes, the new Legends are here, um, we got like new Legend art, we got a bunch of cool new things. I hear that there's like a ranked change coming up, so I don't know if you guys know about this, we're gonna talk about it a little bit today, but first things first, we're gonna do our daily pack and see if we can finally pull this daily Legend that I keep seeing a million people pull every day, that's not me though, it's amazing. Who would've thought? But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the beginning of the season. I know I am. Uh, it's uh, I got like baseball tonight. I had baseball last night too. I'm so excited. It's finally here. I've been waiting so long for this. I mean, this has been like one of the least, like this has been one of the quickest off seasons that I can personally remember. I've already waxed poetic about this forever, but like it feels like this this kind of happened quickly. Like, and I'm actually kind of happy that it didn't seem like it was that long this time. Very excited to get started. Um, so I I posted this in Discord. And I want to see if I can grab the picture, but I have this, um, I'm holding it right here next to me. I have this, like, pack of cards I got when I was a kid. Um, I'll see if I can put a picture up on the screen right now while I put my phone down. But I've got this, like, little plastic cube of baseball cards, and, I mean, I got it when I was a kid. Um, there was some 2003 cards in here, 2000, there's a 1999 card on the side, too, I've noticed it as well. I don't know if there's going to be anything in here that's even worthwhile, but I think it'd be fun if I made a little video about it. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see me open up this thing, maybe I'll do it as a live stream. I really don't know. I need to figure out how I can like, like record my hands. And I have totally forgotten to put on Do Not Disturb. First off, uh, thank you, my dude, Diego Tinoco. I, I love you, man. That was I, I love your comment, dude. That was so awesome. Like I, I want I left it up so I didn't forget to respond to it like right away because I was thinking to myself like, this is like one of my my favorite comments I've seen over the last couple weeks. Like, I mean, I read it and I was just like, dude, that this is awesome. Like, I I just want to say thank you very much. Like, I I already responded to you. Um, you know, I, I want to know a little bit more about your deck, so if you can respond, let me know what you think. Um, but I just want to say thank you. Like, dude, that was such an awesome comment. I love I love reading things like that whenever you guys say awesome things, and I just, I never can say thank you enough to you guys for all the comments. Like, seriously, I really appreciate all of you guys who take the time out of your day to comment on my video and watch it. I, I really cannot stress it enough. Uh, before we get on any further, I, I want to say that there's a thing here. If you click this title here like this third historic player thing you actually get a free premium pack i already got it so i can't show you guys it anymore but um that's basically every one of their events like if you click the title you basically get a premium pack for free just in case you need a little bit extra material you know free premium packs you know that's a free chance at a legend a very small chance at a legend but um can't go wrong with that let's get into the packs real quick shall we see what we kind of got to kind of get here already starting off with diamond player nice now, I don't remember if this is any different from the previous years. I think that there might be some legends in here. I mean, legends. Some live players. I don't think they have live players in here. And I think that they're only exclusively available from the live season player packs. We'll see if we pull a 23 player, but I'm pretty sure that they're not in here. They might be. I, I might just be unlucky and just not pulling them, but they could be. But I'm pretty sure, like, that. why would they, why would they do that, right? If you're going to give me a separate premium pack for live players, then why would you... Why would you do that, right? Maybe. Just me thinking. So, anyway, what do you guys think of the new Legend players? I mean, I love the Ken Griffey Jr. player. I love it. Um, the new Legends are okay. I know some people were talking about running Trevor Hoffman as a setup guy, but I don't know. I still feel like that it's kind of Legends or bust in terms of that department, but, um, you know, we'll see what they do. I still think Supremes are kind of meh. I mean, they're very good at home. Like, they're very good away, but at home they are just a categorical weakness in your lineup. It's... It's kind of noticeable. Like, I... I don't know. I, I usually beat up on Supremes whenever I play them. So, I don't know. We'll see. Very rarely do the Supremes end up being the ones that destroy me in away games. It's more or less just, like, the legends that beat me. So, that's me. I mean, if you need a player there, fine. But I still feel like a, a SIG player with a very good skill set would probably be your best bet in that situation. Just so useful because they help you home and away. As opposed to just the um, the supreme getting the double the double bonuses at um, away games. Uh, I'm messing up my words, but I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you can't use drinks and gear in home games. 
but you use them in away games when you play with them, so that's that. I wanted to also, we have a league reward here before I go on any further. So we're going to see what we kind of kind of get here. See if we get a prime player. Or a vintage. It'd be pretty cool. Ooh, got a vintage. Let's go. Vintages are so much rarer than primes from, from league mode. They are so much rarer. Thankful. I think we have a vintage combo to do today now. I believe we have three diamond vintage players. It took me, like, when I was looking for my last vintage player, it took me, like, a month to find one. Uh, it, they're very rare. I don't know why, but they just seem to be categorically much rarer than any other, like, the primes. I pull, like, three or four primes for every vintage player I pull from League Mode. Much rarer to find vintages. Don't know why. Seems like they should be the same, like, rarity. Like, they both theoretically have the same, like, rarity in terms of... I think they both have like a 0.5% chance to be pulled from a pack. Like, just like Primes, but strange. Alright, so I got the Al Lighter. Oh, maybe I don't. I have the Al Lighter. I have the Got. Do I have a Batter? Well, I thought I did. I guess I don't. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. I guess Lighter was the most recent one we just got. So we need one more Diamond Vintage player. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We take that. So let's keep going with the Premium Packs. That's a Silver Pack. Oh, you fool. Oh, I got another diamond player. Oh, please be a legend, finally. Legend from a premium pack. That'd be pretty sick. They also have new art. I don't know if you guys know this on the update, but they also have brand new art, too. So, I mean, you'll know right away if you pull a legend player from a pack. Like, you'll see there's new... It's no longer just nothing. Like, you'll see there's a, there's a card outline. It'd be pretty cool if it, like, popped up right now while I'm talking about it. But, I mean, if it doesn't, I can digress. And there's also new prime art, too. I'm hopeful that we will see it. In this video, but uh, that's not up to me, unfortunately. I just saw an Andres Jimenez. I know he's assigned a new extension with the Guardians. That's pretty cool. Happy to hear that he uh, became one of their everyday players for the future now. Pretty cool. Love seeing it. I did also just see that the like right before I started recording this, the MLB owners ratified the minor league players contract. So now uh, they actually like doubled the average pay of a minor leaguer and gave them pay throughout the year. I mean, that's a huge step. I mean, I remember a couple months ago, I, I believe it was a year ago, actually, during the lockout where I was basically up here on my soapbox yelling about how minor league players are taken so much advantage of and they get paid nothing. And I think players should be paid more for what they do. And finally, the players are getting a significant pay raise. Now, in my opinion, I still believe they could, they should deserve to get paid more. I'd love that Travis Hafner. Please give me that Hafner. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. But I would always sit up here and argue that the the players don't get paid enough. I mean, you've got seven years of control, basically, in, you know, when you bring a player up and, you know, the people in the minors are basically need to work second jobs in order to, you know, be able to support uh, support themselves and basically be alive. I mean, I think that's tragedy. So, I mean, I think that the teams should be paying these players way more than they are now, and and they have achieved this basically with this giving them basically pay throughout the year. Now, even when they're not playing baseball, they're being paid money. I don't think it's a lot of money. I think they should be paid more money, in my opinion, but it's, it's, a, it's a good step in the right direction, but I think there needs to be like four or five more steps in the right direction. But so far, this has been in my opinion, a good first step. There's a Jorge Posada in there. Um, I'm excited that there's a new Jorge Posada and a new Ron Guidry sig. Uh, a little late for my tastes, in my opinion. I'm probably not sig changing the Guidry, maybe in the future. I'm also not sig changing that Posada because I am more... I mean, I've got Gary with a decent skill set. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to sig change Posada. I think... I mean, look, uh, I, I have two skill. I have two sk series of thoughts here. The series of thought is is that if I sig change my Babe Ruth and I get a legend outfielder later on, I'm pretty sure that means I need to bench the Babe Ruth. Um, and then on top of that, my second nagging thought is is that I believe that Jorge Posada is a better catcher than Gary is. But I don't know, like, if I want to go down that route to waste a sick change on the Posada. I don't know. I'm still contemplating these thoughts here, but I'm fairly certain that Sig Posada would be pretty, pretty dope. 
Like, let's compare Posada and Gary. I know, I know Gary has much better content, much better power. Oh, they're like, they're much closer than I thought. Posada does have a worse batter GI than Gary does, but it's not going to be by much. Um, it's got eight more fielding, so, I mean, he would actually be better in terms of the fielding department, hitting stab bonus. Eh, I don't know. It's definitely, like I said, it's on my back burner. I'll hold on to this Posada for now, just in case for a rainy day. But I'm I'm mostly certain that my heart still wants to go and sig change Babe Ruth. But like I said, there are so many legends in the outfield that I, I'm going to have to dodge. Like, if I get another legend outfielder, it's not going to be like, oh, guess I'm throwing him on the bench. Like, it's going to have to meet B and think to myself, like, am I going to have to go bench Mantle or Babe Ruth? Like, it's going to be that, – that's the kind of decision I'm going to come down to at this point. And that's kind of terrifying for me because I like both those cards. I'm never benching Judge. I mean, he's got beautiful skill sets, so that's not happening. Oh, Miggy. Miggy two bags. Miggy doubles. Tyler Anderson. John Carlo Stanton just hit a nuke yesterday. Oh my goodness. All the all the John Carlo haters are are mad. John Carlo Stanton just hit an absolute nuke yesterday. Oh, they're so upset. I'll take that Joey Votto, please. Thank you. Give me that Joey Votto. I love Joey Votto. Joey Votto is like one of my one of my favorite players. Just like, God, I, I can't wait for Joey Votto. And, like, don't take this the wrong way. Like, I can't for, wait for him to retire because I want to see him either, A, go to the Hall of Fame because I'd love to see him go to the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he has a good enough case yet. I know he's definitely in the Hall of Very Good right now, but I'd love to see Joey Votto go to the Hall of Fame. But I love Joey Votto when he was injured the other week. And uh, thank you, Dodger District, for the, the good luck. I appreciate it. But, like, he was in the broadcast booth for the Reds when he was hurt. And, oh, my God, the dude is just, like, he's just born to be a broadcaster the dude just oozes charisma it's very much fun to listen to like I, he there was a video clip of him in the broadcast booth which i love i like retweeted it on twitter and everything where he is in the broadcast booth like he's like i want to give away a toyota truck like like if they if, you know if there's a home run hit to right of center i want to give the toyota truck away for him and then like he, like almost on cue the very next like during that same at bat the batter just misses the foul pole, like on the right side, like right field foul pole, just foul. And he's just like, maybe, yeah, you know, I want to reconsider my thoughts. And it's like, the dude is just so funny. Like, maybe I can link it to you guys in the comments section. But like, the dude is just so funny to listen to. Like, I could listen to Joey Votto talk baseball all day. And then there's like the old school, like back when Joey Votto was an MVP candidate every year. And he was like, don't give me Isaiah kind of fly for 23. Stop it. Get out of here with that. Miss me with it. But he was like um, unintentional talk, like wearing a Mountie suit. And he's just so funny, unintentionally. Just deadpan talking to them. So funny. But I love the guy. I want to see him go to the Hall of Fame so badly. I don't know if he'll make it, but I, I am holding hope that he'll be a late ballot guy. Um, I want to see him go to the Hall of Fame, dude. He's just so funny. Get get me the, get get rid of this IKF as soon as possible. Come on, man, go. Oh, Jesus Lazardo, unfortunate. Was kind of hoping for the diamond player, but then again, we are getting rid of the players that we do not need, so that's okay. Mike Trout. Speaking of Mike Trout, I was told that if you change the language of your game, you'll get some different players. So similarly in the past, like some players were found that if you changed your game's language to Korean, you could get like a Hyunjin Ryu pack for sale. Or get a free Hyunjin Ryu. Uh, I believe right now if you change your game's language to Japanese, you'll get a free Kodai Senga, much like you got... Um, like I said, the free uh, Mike Trout that they gave out when the game dropped. Um, I'm not going to do that because, um, I don't know, I'm kind of terrified that they're going to yell at me for doing that. So I'd rather not and not take my chances. But um, if you feel free and you want to experiment, I hear that you can change the game's language to get a free card. I don't think I need the free card, but I'm just passing on the message to you guys that if you want to try it, go for it. Keep on, keep on truck. An ultimate team select pack gonna be gonna be a legend. Cause why wouldn't it be a legend, right? It's gonna be a Lou Gehrig. God, if I called that, can you imagine? That'd be incredible. Let's keep on trucking, shall we? Give me a legend. Give me a legend. I already know it's not a legend because I don't see the card art, card border. So that's a shame. Uh, team select diamond pack. 
Okay, that's not, that must be the pre-reg rewards. I'm like thinking to myself like, is this like the Diamond Wish pack that I'm trying to save for later? It must not be, right? Two Yankee Diamonds, Luis Sessa, Nestor Cortez 22. That's a, that's a pretty cool card. Do I have a Nestor Cortez Diamond already? I don't, I don't think I do. I think I have a silver of him. I want to save the Diamond and put in my backup though. I want to save that card. Nasty Nestor. Oh, wow. Uh, I saw I saw some gold skills in there. I think I saw Ace in there. No, I don't want to see Luis Sessa. I love Luis Sessa. Oh, man, that's so bad. Woo! Woo! Stinky. Uh, yeah, let's... I think I have a silver one in my backup. Let's just get rid of that real quick. I have so many cards in here. Nestor Cortez, Nestor Cortez... Nasty Nestor. I have Nestor Cortez 20. <laughs> why did I save that card? I don't know why, man. Oh, I have no idea. I thought I had a Nestor, Nestor Cortez. Um, That's okay. I'll save it for later just in case, but I'm pretty sure. Maybe I already have two diamonds of Nestor Cortez. That's okay. We won't worry about it. We've got some roster space anyway. I don't want to go to team management. Let's go and open up our diamond player, the player pick pack, the one we get from ranked every week, pretty much. And then we're going to hold on for the wish and the live wish for later because maybe get a pretty sick card out of there. Refresh one time. Give me a legend. Oh, I'll take another vintage, though. Sweet. We got a legend. We got a vintage combo. Oh, I got two diamond vintages in one day. Let's go, baby. We got it. Oh, I'm so hyped, dude. That's pretty sick. I can't believe it. We got two vintage diamonds in one day. What? That never happens, man. Usually it takes us like weeks to get a combo, and we got one. We got two thirds of a combo in one video. Crazy. Diamond raw stripling. Thank you. I actually need the silvers right now, honestly, to be honest, because I'm running. A, I didn't. I didn't save enough silvers to do all these combos. Kyle Gibson. Give me that Kyle Gibson. Someone told me there's a. Cole Hamels has come back or something. That's pretty dope. Was it Cole Hamels? I could be wrong. But I, someone told me that like um, it was a Phillies pitcher. I swear it was Cole Hamels. Like he's back in the game now. And I heard Cole Hamels wants to make a comeback too. But we'll see if any teams actually go pick up on him or not. I really don't know what's going to happen. Also, what do you guys think about what happened with Anthony Rendon? I mean, I usually only really talk about the Yankees on this channel, but there isn't really anything to talk about right now. You know, they're just playing baseball and everything. What do you guys think about Anthony Rendon, like, grabbing the fan? Like, I saw him grab the fan, and, like, even if he was just playing around, like, I don't think that's very, like, look, I'm not saying what the fan did was right. I think that, you know, there's, like, a lot of, like, you know, stuff like that going around where, like, you should be responsible for the words you say, but I feel like that you shouldn't be initiating a fight over words, I feel like the fan was wrong, and I feel like Rendon was also wrong. Like, I'm not saying the fan was right. You know, there's be consequences for your actions. But I think it's unprofessional for Rendon to reach into the stands and grab somebody. Even just jokingly, I think that that's kind of wrong. You know, you're representing a team. Um, I don't know if I heard the Angels respond about anything. I know he got the day off either today or yesterday because he, he hurt his knee or something. But, I mean, I don't know if I really heard anything. But I did hear the Angels had, like, their uh, locker room was closed for comment the other day. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. I just saw it and was just like, that seems like excessive to me, in my opinion. See if we can pull from our vintages. Anyway, that's that's really it. I think the whole situation was rough. I thought that it was just a massive um, thing, like overreaction to words. Um, but still, I think that you shouldn't be saying such derogatory things to players at the same time. But I, I still think that Rendon should probably just like laughed at him and told security like get this get this clown out of here man like get him out like nobody wants to listen to this dude but that's my opinion i mean like you can say a lot of things to my face and i probably wouldn't i'd probably just laugh at you honestly like that's just me personally but everyone's different you know uh, i'd probably just laugh at you and i I'd just walk away like i don't care <laughs> it's just whatever man words are words but like i said everyone's different but that's me personally Silver, silver, and silver. Give me that legend, baby. Nope. All right, diamond vintages. Let's see what we get. Diamond legend. Diamond legend. Diamond legend. Diamond legend. That's not a legend. Ah. What are legends, man? Never met them. Jeff Montgomery. That must be a new one. 
Must be a new one, right? I spent 2,000 stars on that one. Nope. Don't need to go to do that real quick. All right, so that's going to be all for the combos today. Let's see if we can go land anything from our nine PSCTs. Uh, pitcher Chad Green. Chad. This is not a bad set. I'm rolling right here. Uh, pitcher's chemistry. No. Pretty sick. Been a long time since we've actually had a hit on a PSCT. Is it just me, or am I, like, going crazy? Like, someone tell me. Like, am I going crazy? I feel like it's been a very long time. Pitch is chemistry! Woo! Let's go, baby. Let's go. I love it. Man, you can tell how happy I am. Two pitches chemistries. So cool. Three to go. I love that we've hit, like, two legend skills, and neither one is cool. That's super, super hype. <laughs> two pitches chemistries. Settle man, nah, dude. All right, let's go get that last one real quick, and then let's go do our last two. I can't believe it, man. We're so close to this stupidity. So annoying, man. Let's see what we get. Come on. Gold again, boss. And the last one is going to be nothing. Woo! I love pulling two pitches chemistries and getting no legend skills again, baby. Oh, man. They are, like, just the worst tickets ever, man. I don't know what is wrong, but I cannot pull any... I cannot pull skills on players, man. It's impossible. It's been, like, a massive problem. Like, I cannot pull skills. It's so annoying. Well, we got 63 chances to pull something. This is like the last week I think we're going to have uh, a lot of skill changes. This is the last week of the WBC event. So right now you've got like a couple days left to be able to um, buy things from the shop. You can't get any more coins, but you can still buy things from the shop using your coins. So I just bought the shop out of skill changes again. And that's going to be the last. Like I get like 18 skill changes a week from that. It's crazy. But this is probably going to be the last week of that. So. Uh, probably going to be down to like a normal human amount, maybe like 35 or 40 next week, but definitely not going to get 60 plus again. That's definitely like way more than I usually get in a week. I haven't even seen anything like semi-decent. Barrel it up. I could do that. Triple threes. Barrel it up. Yeah, barrel it up. Yeah, barrel up my head because all I keep getting is pitchers chemistry on TSETs, man. <laughs> Crazy. Every single week that this goes on, I'm just getting closer and closer to just using, like, blues on my pitchers because triple threes again, just not getting anything. Like, at this point, like, the hell with the money, right? Just, like, uh, I'll get more blues eventually, but just I can't. They're also old school blues, so, I mean, like, they're not really, like, I might as well use them because I'm never going to use them on a player that I need premium blues on. So they're, they're the old blues, so... Uh, that's not a bad skill set, but not good enough. Uh, like they're old blues, so like I rem like from now on, all the blue tickets I believe are premium blues, so you can choose to keep or use the new set. So I mean, these are the old ones, which you can't. So I might as well use them on someone I don't want to be using blues on. I think, in my opinion, because I'm gonna be forced to keep whatever they are. So I mean, that's definitely something that I need to take into account the fact that they are going to be kind of like not be used on Judge and they're not going to be used on somebody else who's actively in my lineup like Gary who has a batting machine as a third which I think is okay but definitely not like I'd rather have charisma on Gary and I'd rather have like slugger instinct on Judge because I think he's got like charisma spotlight no no Judge has like charisma slugger instinct pioneer I think no Judge is charisma batting machine pioneer which is not the worst i mean he does pretty well but i definitely would rather have like slugger instinct or spotlight on there for sure maybe barrel it up and then i would probably think about retraining him because i think he doesn't hit biu but that's just me 
But there's a lot of skills. Like, that would require me to use a premium blue. Triple threes, almost. I haven't even seen anything, like, pretty good. Like, nothing that's, like, even, like... Like, where's charisma? I, I haven't seen a lot of charisma yet today. What's going on? Table setter, triple triple silvers, not even any golds. What are golds? Are, do gold skills exist? Nah, gold skills aren't. Gold skills are a myth. Bro, what is happening? <laughs> I have actually not seen a gold skill in a while. There's one. BIU. Eh. Eh. Charisma. Charisma level one. Legend, BIU. Reliable, triple threes. No, almost. No golds. Man, man. Skills, skill tickets have been rough to me. I want to go back and like count up the number of PSCTs I've not hit on recently and just like get a number because I feel like it's been a very, very long time since we've had like a PSCT hit. Like, our last hits have all been Legend tickets. Like, I think about that. Like, the like the last hits we've had were, like, Legend tickets. Which means that we've we've gone, like, at least 100 plus since we've had a hit. I'm thinking, like, the number might be close to 150 at this point. Because we've gone through three Legend tickets and gotten two Legend skill hits from that. And it's, like, 50, 50 PSCTs is, like, a Legend. So, it's been a very long time since we've had a hit on a PSCT, I feel like. Somebody can do the math on that, but I'm pretty sure that it has been a frighteningly long time since we've had a hit. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today, you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wish we could finally hit a legend, but unfortunately, it's just uh, we're kind of caught in between right now. Just kind of waiting it out until we actually get a hit and actually can improve our team. It's been a long time, so kind of losing hope. Kind of going a little haywire, but hopefully next week is finally the week. Anyway, with that being said, I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Until then, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Good luck with your packs and your your pulls and combos, and I hope you guys have better luck than I do. But anyway, peace.